Let's get over. Let's get you in there. Get under the covers. Come on. Get under the covers. Get under all the covers. Come on. Come on, get in. Get under. Let's go. Where are you going? You right there? Yeah. Okay. Come on. Let me get the Bible first. And you said you wanted me to read you which one? Green eggs and ham? Yes. Side, since you keep, let's see here. All right, all right, dear. Then I gotta get you all tucked in. Okay. Now, do you remember what we read yesterday? The Bible. Yes. What did we read? Um, Tell Daddy all about what we read last time. We read about Adam and who was the woman? No, that's Jesus. Who, what we read about Adam and Eve. Okay, what happened with Adam and Eve? Um, they ate, um, a tree. They ate, um, a tree. Um, um. Get the fairy Um. They ate the apple from the tree. Very good. They ate the apple from the tree. Were they supposed to? No. Who tricked them? No, who tricked them to eat the apple? Um. No, do you remember who tricked them? Was it Satan? Yeah. Okay, the devil. And he came as a snake, remember? From the tree of knowledge? Okay. Next chapter. I didn't know he come from he turned into a snake. See, snakes actually represent knowledge. And it's kind of funny that the tree in the garden is called the tree of knowledge. Okay? Now, this is called Cain and Abel. Okay? Ready? Okay, here we go. Adam and Eve soon saw how much evil their sin would bring upon the earth. Adam had to work hard to keep himself and Eve alive. He had to hunt for food. The first children of Adam and Eve were Cain and Abel. Cain grew up to be a farmer, and Abel became a shepherd. Cain was cruel, and Abel was kind. Cain and Abel offered gifts to God as sacrifice. Cain offered fruit and grain. Abel offered a lamb of his flock. When God saw that Cain's heart was full of evil, he was not pleased with his gifts. But God was pleased with Abel's gifts because his heart was full of goodness, and he offered his gifts to God with a better spirit. This made Cain very jealous. He determined to kill his brother. One day, when they were walking to the field, walking in the field, Cain struck his brother and killed him. That's not good, is it? The first murder had been committed. Then Adam learned what death meant. God asked Cain, Where is your brother Abel? He answered, I do not know. I am my brother's keeper. Am I my brother's keeper? God was angry and said, The voice of your brother's blood cries out to me. You shall be cursed, and you shall be a wanderer upon the earth. Hearing how he was to be punished, Cain cried out, My sin is too great to be forgiven. I must hide myself from your face. Anyone who finds me will kill me. But God put a mark upon Cain as a sign that no one should kill him. Cain began to wander over the earth and suffer for his sin. God gave Adam another son called Seth, who grew up to be a good man. His children honored God and lived according to his laws, and they is were that, called the children of God. Is that his brother? Yeah, see, that's Abel and that's Cain. You can see that, you know, Cain looks like, a, like he's not happy, is he? Children of God. Through Seth, the worship of the true God, with the hope of Redeemer, came down to other people who were to live many years later. But the children of Cain grew up to be bad. Many centuries passed. The human race grew both in numbers and in knowledge of the things which make life easier. Some of the children of Cain built a city. Others lived in tents. And this way the first cities began, and men learned to live with one another. They learned to plant and grow things to make the animals carry their burdens but they forgot God. 
After a while, the children of Cain began to marry the children of Seth. The sons and daughters born to these parents also became bad. Men began to have many wives. They worshipped the sun and the earth as gods. They made statues, called them gods, and even worshipped them. Evil spread through the whole human race. Man became very wicked. And then they go on to the next chapter. So man, so Cain and Abel, Abel was the good one and Cain was the bad one. Okay? Then Adam had another son. What was his name? Seth. Okay? You ready for me to read your other book? Okay, I'll read your other book. Let me put this over here. Sorry. January 16, 2013.